three, two, one, go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> H and H Gaming. We're, we're so gonna, glad you came to join us today. To we're having a good time, <laughs> fixing to head on into Sector Z. Because it looks like a Z. Yeah. Uh, so you didn't. Don't you worry, apparently sir. don't pay attention. But last time we played the game, it was Sector X. What do you mean? The I don't blue. The blue. Le you remember the level? I the, remember that. The blue. Well, it's, it's shaped like an X. And yeah. then, and then the second level that we played in this series yeah. was Sector Y. Like giant, it was the green one. It was like a giant space fart. And this is Sector Z. Enemy approaching from the left. Watch this. Oh. We'll gladly take this one. Oh. So it's an ambush. On our way to Venom, we get ambushed by the enemy. Sector Z. Yep. And they are going to start shooting missiles at us. Not good. And, and you will see. Whoa, that was there's close. Not many Whoa, of the, that was there's close. not many of the levels that are actually in space, huh? Uh, yeah, there's a few. I feel like there's more that are... Uh, all the ones that are sectors are, and the asteroid belt is... Right. There's probably more that are actually on a planet. Yes, though, yes, huh? yeah. more on a planet. We're halfway there. The next level's in space. Is it? Yeah. The final level's not. No, it's on Venom. Well, I don't know, apparently. No, it's on Venom. It, 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 it does, but it's on Venom. Gotcha. None of these guys can ever take care of themselves. I don't know, man. They're trash. He can't because he's so old and senile. Do they actually ever destroy any ships, or do they just kind of fly around? Yeah, they do. they do. Very, very few, but yes, they will. Uh, so check it out. At this point in time, the AI is pretty... Basic. Not good. So I'm not going to do it, but you can actually let that missile hit Great Fox. It'll blow off one of his wings, and for the rest of the game, his uh, there's just a hole in the side of the ship. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. Does it affect anything? Uh, you don't get to go to the next level. You go to a different. You go back to the blue path. I, I think. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Huh. So there's lots of little things that could affect yeah. the outcome. Yeah, there are. Okay. Oh, let me show you this. This is cool. So, when you're pl when you're playing this level, you get hurt or something. You get low on shields. Yeah. Not a whole lot of health around, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see on the map, Great Fox. On the map of the bottom right. Yeah, yeah. I can actually fly in. Get healed up. Oh. Yeah. Cool. So this, yeah. They really have an unlimited amount of health. Yeah, them. yeah. The only thing that makes this hard is the time constraint. You gotta kill the missiles before they blow right, up your ship. Right. Slippy actually gonna take a missile out? Yeah, they actually start helping. Oh, okay. She doesn't take one out her he? own. Sorry, he... Slippy is a man. Slippy is whatever Slippy wants to be. I'm gonna use they, them pronouns to this. To them, sir. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna talk about. Oh, come back here. Oh no! Ouch! Good. That hurt! Ouch! Good. That hurt! Where's the missile? There! I almost blew my ship up, but I saved your stupid life. What is Slippy? Falco? Oh, he's behind it. Okay. okay. I just saw the F right next to where it said the missile. You better hurry. Are you gonna hug? Oh my! <laughs> With her pink shit. Yep. Oh, Sparkly. It's girl power, man. This was the 90s. You gotta have that girl power in. Like I love it. Some Powerpuff girl stuff. Yeah. The Powerpuff girls. Powerpuff kids. So now I gotta kill three of them. 98. So when this game come out? 97. What about that time? Did you ever watch Powerpuff girls? No. <laughs> I remember, no. I remember seeing a couple episodes of it. Wasn't my thing. I didn't watch TV until I was much older. Yeah. We didn't have uh, we didn't have TV like really growing up. Right. When I was like when that was like right. around. One missile down. Actually, Beautiful. I could the bad part about this level is your team is too good. 
Because they'll blow up the missiles before you can, and they'll steal your points. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wasn't really playing for points, so I didn't do it. But pretty much the only way you can get the trophy on this level is not to let your team do any of the work. You just kill all the missiles yourself. I didn't I didn't do that, but I don't really care. Bye-bye, cat. Nice knowing you. There's another uh, kind of mercenary team. Well, no, he's actually not a mercenary. He works for the coronarian army but uh bill he's another uh character that gets introduced we're not going to see him in this playthrough but it's, it's, it's neat they have little characters makes it feel like more of a world than just you know playing through with the same people every time oh yeah that's real comforting slippy slippy said don't worry slippy's here my hero! Alright, so now we will be heading to the the satellites. Okay. So you got satellites, then Venom. Yep. So like uh, we the first time we played, we did that satellite right there. Yeah. This time we're doing that one right there. Totally different satellite. Yep. So here we go. It's almost Area 6 over. defense station. We're in your debt. Come back in one piece, Fox. Oh. Will do, General. <laughs> it still kills me when they talk. They have a... Yeah, the dialogue's great. Came well, it's not here. just the... No problem. Who? Cayman. You sure that you do you copy? He's an enemy. Emergency maneuvers! He's like one of their lieutenants or something. Too late. Game over, pal. Too late. <laughs> So I love this about this level. The whole time you're flying towards Venom. Uh, Venom. Entering Venom Air Defense Zone. Everybody stay alert. Yep. I love it. Space Mine's ahead. Space Mine? Yep. There's a blow up on it, too. How do you keep the Space Mine in one place? Oh, I'm learning. How do you keep it from moving? So it's a bunch of little satellites? Yeah. They're not satellites, really. They're just, like, little... It's like a defense base or whatever. I guess you're good for something. Great Fox will cover you. So you don't have to pick up the phone when you're going there. No. You know what? Will still cover you? Nope. You're almost there. It's just getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, I know. Isn't that cool? It's gonna get me missile! Shoot him down! Huh. We're being marked! Oh, that's the one that hit me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Please tell yeah. me the A on the helmet is for Andros. I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. It's so cheap. I love it. Sorry, guys. I got a Heavy. So what do you have to do? You have to save him. Yeah. Call out. That thing, that's trippy, it's man. Little butterflies. They're all through the game. Here. What is that? Point? Yeah. You gotta be getting close. The planet hadn't gotten bigger than this one. Yeah, I am. It's kind of stayed that size for a little while. Yeah. Uh, 
That main deck kind of poking up from the top like that. Yeah. I'm not gonna get the. I tried to get the uh, trophy. But I didn't do it very good. You've got to get a bunch of kills on this level to get it. This is kind of neat. Yeah, it's like uh, I don't know. I don't really. Kind of satellite defense weapon. Yeah, but it's like. But it it all it can like disappear. I don't know. It's weird. Like it turns itself to not be matter or something. Right. Huh. I don't know, man. 90 sci fi. I'm telling you, man. Nice. You gotta what love time, it. Uh, um. Like what? Uh, I'm just gonna look it up. The time period that old. Uh, what's his name? The Scientology guy. L. Ron Hubbard. Oh. <laughs> Is he hey, making Einstein, his. I'm on your side. His uh, science fiction. I'm pretty sure it was. A good while before all this. Oh yeah, like when it back like in the day, like back in the '60s or '70s or something like that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, he was like a really bad <laughs> science fiction author. Yeah. And so he, he decided to create a religion instead. I love it. I like that man. It's creative. That's, hey, Battlefield Earth. They just made a movie about that one, and it was supposed to be. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's the one. It was an old one. I, 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 I. <laughs> because I think it was like supposed to be. It was one that got all this hype about being like the new Star Wars. Yes. And it was one with John Travolta that was like what? obscenely bad. What? Yeah, John Travolta's a sci-fi. Oh, I didn't know this. Yeah. And so, yeah, look, look here's, here's, here's ah. the Ah, oh, man, there's what a the, bummer. <laughs> I lost my wing. <laughs> it was supposed to be I mean it was supposed to be like this big thing what in the world is this yeah and it was like one of the worst oh here we go uh, let, me, let me look at the review for it. <laughs> I mean it was just it's like the next Star Trek or something oh yeah it was gonna be the next thing and it was just look at the Rotten Tomatoes score 3% 3% and 12% 12% normally a lot of times you'll get that low score from the critics but the audience will give it higher yeah, the dude. audience gave it a 12% man have you seen uh, it says ugly, campy, and on. poorly acted. Battlefield Earth is a stunningly misguided, aggressively <laughs> bad sci-fi film. R.I.P. Man, that's brutal. Let us make a religion. <laughs> yeah, really. Crazy, man. Okay, so to, to those of y'all watching, I was not really paying attention. I was watching what he was doing on his computer, and I got my wing blown off. And when you get your wing blown off, it starts dragging you, like, off the screen, like, in the direction of where your wing is going, so... And you lose your laser, so it gets harder to steer, and the bummer is, for this next level, I'm gonna have the lowest level of laser, just the one green laser, and that's gonna make this next level pretty tough. And, and I'm gonna be able to beat it still, but it's just gonna be tedious because of the enemy I have to fight. And I'm not gonna tell you who, because I don't wanna spoil it for you. What do you mean? You, have <laughs> you, you haven't got, seen. You got me curious now. You haven't seen who's next. Well, I mean, I really don't know anymore. I don't know who it's supposed to be at this point. Oh, come here. It's so hard to steer with this wing being on. My lasers are so weak. Yeah, I can definitely tell this path is harder. You were breezing through the blue path. Well, yeah, that was terrible. I only got plus two. I would have done better, but I stopped paying attention. Oh, 
Alright, so that's going to be it for this installment. Uh, next time, we will be, this next level is going to be the final level. We'll be heading to Venom on the red path. Y'all saw this last time on the blue path, but it's going to be pretty different. I think you're going to like it. You're in for a little surprise, especially if you watched our first couple of episodes. So anyway, it's going to be cool. I'm going to have to beat it with the puniest lasers in the game, but we're going to do it nonetheless. So we'll see you guys next time.